start game. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, so we're, we're going. We're I guess going. so, yeah. We're going. Uh, hey, guys. Uh, welcome to our first kind of podcast. Uh, here with us is James Reeves, our very good friend, one of the favorite YouTubers, one of. Um, and um, we should start with an interesting story, how we met. Oh. Yes. <laughs> well, for the first story, I wanted to ask you not how we met, but... How was your first time in Slovenia? Can you elaborate maybe a little bit more about the infamous day you got tipsy with us? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, this one. Um, I expected this, more or less. Uh, but we went to uh, a cabin in the mountains. And the problem is with you guys, I think I've mentioned this before on my channel, but it, it is worth repeating. Uh, I had just met you guys really a few days before. I mean, we had met at SHOT Show and all that, but I mean, really the first time we had spent like an entire day together hanging out. And you have Williams schnapps, the Williams pear schnapps, which is not good. You guys think it's good. It's not good. <laughs> it's not good. Factually not good. <coughs> and what happens is you bring this pear schnapps and Samo brings over pear schnapps. It's Jim's. <laughs> Your accent. first time in Slovenia, James. You need to have a shot of Williams with me. And it's like, God, I smell it. It's like, this smells uh, kind of like a sock with an asshole. And I take the shot anyways. And then you have Jiga. Jiga's like, James, you need to take a shot with me. And I'm like, oh, fuck. You know, um, don't really want to. This stuff's terrible. But, you know, F it, why not? So then I, I do that. Then Greg comes up. James, you need to take a shot with me. Williams pear snaps good. It's like nuts. <laughs> but you know, I don't want to offend anybody, and I'm, uh, yeah, yeah, well, I'm, a, I'm like that. I'm a nice guy. I'm that's a nice all, guy. that's not offending. That's, that's, no, no, no. That's no, just no, facts. But then, I, yeah, then I said, no, you know, like I don't think this is the best idea. Oh, you come to my country? <laughs> you not, you not drink with me? And it's like, okay, oh, man, these guys are gonna like, they're gonna fucking kill me, like throw me in this this creek back here if I don't take this. So it's like, okay, I take the shot, you know, I take the shot. And then you have Luca comes over, James, and then it's like, okay, well, I better not say no because if I do, this guy's gonna, I'm insulting his his country and his family and his heritage. So like, I I better take the shot. And so the next thing you know, I'm five six shots in, and then Samo's in one shot. Jiga, one shot. Luca, one shot. Jiga, <coughs> Grega, one shot. You guys have all had one shot. You've gotten me totally messed up. Uh, I threw up. I passed out without my shirt on. And then Tim <laughs> from Military Arms Channel, who doesn't drink, which makes this cheating, writes in a magnum Sharpie TFB TV on my naked body from the waist up and posts it. So that's uh, that was my first experience in Slovenia. It was lovely. Yeah, it, it was a lovely time, but we have to elaborate something. It, the same thing happened with us when, you know, on the little, I wouldn't say river, but, mm -hmm. you know, where we were right. starting drinking yeah. William Schnapps, you know, Grega came to me and just like, yeah, you didn't drink with me. And okay, mm -hmm. then Grega's father and then everybody probably from the 250 employees of Arex did the same thing. And I was, I was there with, mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. um, the biggest problem we had there, Giga, was that he said he's, he's going to be our designated driver, okay? And literally 37 minutes in, he comes to me and he said, Samo, we have a little bit of a problem. I cannot drive today. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck you. You know, you said that you're going to drive. If I would knew, knew that, I would, you know, I would say, okay, I'm not going to drink as much and I'm going to drive us home. So Yeah, I mean, it was like hanging out the next day, it was like you just had a party with toddlers or something because there was like a line of vomit across the floor in the cabin, and then there was vomit in the sink, and then Jiga and I couldn't figure out whose was whose. Yeah. Uh, I think we figured it out. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, to be fair, like all of us drank a lot that day. It was fun. It was not just I had like a great yeah, time. Yeah, we didn't just you know force you to drink. We all all drank too much. I actually lost the company phone. Mm -hmm. um, I was actually lost for a couple of hours, <coughs> not lost, but I just like wandered in the woods to throw up and like people were searching for me, like where the fuck is Giga? And hikers found it, right? Uh, yeah, oh. a week later, yeah. hikers found the phone, yeah. yeah. 
Go that's a good time. time. I mean, I, I, good time. I enjoyed it. I mean, that's what happens. <laughs> Come to Slovenia, everybody. Are they going to use this? The Slovenian government use this for like a tourism <laughs> ad? That, that would be awesome if they would. Good um, times in Slovenia. <laughs> <laughs> I really yeah. love your accent, the Slovenian accent that you do. Yeah. I don't it's do accents. Nothing, yeah, it's yeah, nothing. Yeah, it's nothing like yeah, Slovenian yeah. accent. But yeah, it's, I know. I know. I know. It's, it's fun. fun. It's fun. It's fun. I try. Um, um, Let's I, I, maybe I, I could tell the story how we actually met. Yes, um, it, it was. I, I actually wanted to say just, but now we can rewind a little bit because it is a funny story how we actually met. I, and I know where this is going, but well, go I, I can no, I, I can tell just the first part that that was you know we almost met by an accident. It, mm. We were we were a chat show, right? And we were tipsy, if I say lightly. Mm-hmm. Uh, quite drunk already through the day and like we're walking through the booth through the booths and I, I saw him right I saw him with the corner of my eye like he, you're yeah. doing an interview or something and I said like oh that, that's the, the TFB TV guy you know like let's let at least say hi let's do the picture you know and then we came towards you and like you said did you know who we were yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no okay. no no what are the few I mean I, I don't watch a, a whole ton of uh, gun tube just if I had more time I would I would, I would watch all of it but since I have such limited time, you guys uh, have always been. You know, mm-hmm. kept up only there. us, only mm-hmm. us. Yes. Mm-hmm. We all also yeah. only watch TFB TV, nothing else. Yeah, so but like you were really cool. You you were very kind. And, that and, that and was the thing. He was not uh, as douchebag as, as I see. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, and yeah. also, I have to add that he was one of the nicest people, like generally, sincerely nicest people we met at Chow Chow that year. The people are nice, but you were really, really friendly and everything. And you were like, dude, is that guy like, <laughs> what? And then you invited us to the infamous party in... Uh, it became a party. I wasn't like, hey, I'm having a party in my room. We basically started that infamous B-list YouTuber party. That's right. right. Yeah, yeah, the B-list, the, the blister, the B-lister party. <laughs> the yeah. B-lister party, the blister. Yeah. And yeah, we, we started because I ran into you guys and then it's like, well, let's, why don't we have some drinks in the room? You know, I knew you guys, I mean, you're Slavs, you like to drink, Yeah. you know, I like to drink. So it, it all made sense. And then we have, so continue, continue. Yeah. For us, it was, it was basically like, well, maybe he's a rapist, but I am there's, but I like free, to have a good time. You know, it's free beer. So we, you know, we can give it a shot and yeah, it was, uh, and that was probably one of the nice, not nice, as awesomenessness experiences I had at Cha Cha. Just because it was okay, party, whatever. But that was the moment I think we became friends. We started like you know communicating, mm-hmm. texting, whatever. But also this is when it kind of, this kind of became like a yearly thing. I love you guys. Yeah, I love you like love like brothers. Too. Like I, I, truly, it's truly, making, it's making me. Blind. No, I thought you were going to say like I will. I will. No, I, I thought you were going to say. I mean, you know, because we're going there, and it's it's me and uh, whoever my camera guy was at the time, and we were splitting a room because you know Let's, that was okay. Uh, can uh, I tell the story? No, please? no, you can't. No, I'm gonna because Jiga thinks that it is the weirdest thing that. <laughs> Like two men are sharing. We're trying to save money. This is when TFB TV was like maybe two hundred thousand subs or something. Like, like still pretty small. It's it's. Are, did you do you want to say that it's funny that two men share a bed? No, a, not a bed, a room, dude. dude there were two separate beds in America. We have hotel rooms that have two beds. Yeah, I know. In. I had to share a bed with um, the lens, AK guys, cameraman. You done? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so it, we have, it's me and my camera guy. And you don't come back from the show floor and break all your shit down. It, you know, you leave your camera, it's on the tripod oh, like damn. this, oh, like this. And, 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 <laughs> and uh, you've got Jigga being like, what's going on with these guys? They've got a camera pointed at the bed. It's like, no, we just like we just didn't break our stuff down, and you didn't tell me this until like probably years um, later. Very suspicious. Look, uh, from my point of view, some some random B-list YouTuber invites us to his hotel, and the hotel room is like it was a nice room, you know. Like even now, when we go to 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 like different shows or whatever, yeah, that's all we are all in yeah shitty hotels. But his hotel room was very nice. He opens the door and there are two Fred guys, him and his friend, like 
really frat guys with Bud Lights and, and this kind of shitty beer. And there's a camera on a tripod, like the amateur <laughs> camera set up like towards the bed. And we look at them and it's like, what are we walking no, into? No, no. We only do POV, just GoPro, GoPro <laughs> on the, the band, that's it. The, the scene was very, very uh, reminiscent. I was just so surprised. No, no, sorry. I yeah, already. it was very reminiscent of uh, the, what's that? Um, the poor the casting? Yeah, the casting, casting couch. couch. Casting couch. Which uh, I feel like I'm on right here. I mean, yeah. it's like this thing. <laughs> okay, now I told you. And I, I see this also like you guys are positioned higher than me. Is this like a power play where it's like I'm down here? <laughs> Dude, you're the most comfortable guy here. Look at me, man. The answer is yes. Yes. Also, that I, I didn't, I forgot about that completely. I thought it was strange two men sharing a room because I always do it because we're on a budget and I'm gypsy. Yeah. No, no, we, we were completely like we were on a budget in that room that you, you said it was a really nice room, Jigo. That room we got just yes. for that night. Like we saved money. We actually saved the best Western Casino Royale, uh, which is like right down the street. A lot of people poop on that hotel, but it's pretty nice. I mean, at, back in the day, they had like uh, $5 craps, but now they got rid of all the Look, It was $5 craps, we were, $1. We were staying in Circus Circus. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, that's, it, that's it disgusting. Was, dude, yeah. Circus really? Circus is was, fucking okay. Uh, we got the nicer mm, rooms you, and we had a, like, a, like a, not an expensive casino downstairs. If you, you would see where we were the first year, so the year you have met us. We were in the ghetto, actual ghetto. Like, oh no, you told me. No, no, no that was that was no. You, know? you told me, and you wouldn't let me go over there because I said, "Well, why are we going over?" You guys are, no, 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 no. We're staying. The, I mean, Circus Circus is great if you already have an STD, then you don't have to worry about <laughs> sleeping yeah. in the bed. For me, it was okay. You're fine. I agree with you. Um, okay, but let's let's stop at a, about shot show. Maybe we can first. Thank you. Mm. Um, Good timing, Jan. So. You are filming for TFB TV mm -hmm. for how long? Um, filming, I think we started January 2015. So that was day one. It was January my? It was my birthday, 2015. I, I'm not supposed to say my birthday, I guess, because it's like a, you don't give out your birthday or whatever. But January 2015 uh, was when TFB TV started. But I, I started with TFB TV or with TFB, the Firearm Blog, in 2012. So this October will be 10 years at the Firearm Blog. So you were writing articles? Yes. You know how to write and read? I'm a lawyer. Impressive. So only writing. Okay, but did you start the, the, the TFB TV, so the YouTube channel? Myself and Alex Caps. It was Alex uh, who was on the channel a while back. It was his idea. But then my understanding was Alex didn't really know how to run a camera. I knew how to run a camera. And then Steve Johnson, who was the founder of the blog, uh, he and I are both camera guys. And he said, hey, Alex, you should bring on James, the two of you co-started. So I, I ran the camera and we both anchored. We would take turns. He would do the camera. I would talk, vice versa. So like our first coverage, 2015, is pretty rough. Um, but... We got it done and we ended up, we got 100,000 plus subs our, our first year, even though like our, our camera work wasn't really that good. And then Alex uh, left shortly after that. Um, and I've been on the entire time. Then like, I don't know, a few years later, uh, uh, Steve retired, the founder of the blog. And so I, I got put in this position where I'm now running TFB TV and have been uh, for a few years. I'm trying to. Yeah, that, that's really cool. I, I remember some of the videos from Alex. Mm -hmm. um, he did the full auto guns and some interesting Yeah, his, his dad had like a massive like million dollar machine gun plus machine gun collection. So he really, uh, Alex deserves all the credit for kind of propelling us because he had these wild ass full autos where it's like me, one of my first comprehensive videos that wasn't shot. I mean, I was pretty happy with it, but I did like the Ruger SR9 versus Glock 19 mud test, but it was one of the first videos I ever made. So I don't think it was that good. I don't think it was unwatchable, but I don't think it was that good. In the meantime, Alex is like, hey guys, you know, like check out this like M2 my dad has, like literally his dad's got a mod deuce and you know. Um, so he, he 
his dad's collection like really helped us kind of gain some steam. And then we went back to the, the firearm blog theme, just like reviews, evergreen content with like the occasional variety piece. And, and here we are. Do you remember maybe the, you know, the first time you, you thought to yourself like, oh damn, this is going somewhere, we're gonna make it, or this, is, this can be a legitimate thing, you know what I mean? They asked at the outset, they're like, hey, uh, Alex and James, would you guys prefer to split the ad revenue or would you prefer for us to just pay you per video? I was like, there is no way that this channel is getting more than 50,000 subscribers. So pay me per video. <laughs> um, and it was totally, totally dumb in retrospect, but I, I, I didn't lose any sleep. That yet. was a mistake. It was. Yeah. <laughs> the moment James knew, he fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I, I mean, I don't know. I think really meeting you guys, like that, that was, it's like, man, we're going to Slovenia. I don't even know where this place is on a map. It's like, you know, that's, that's, you know, big dick and we're going to be there with, with Tim, with military arms channel. So I honestly, like just off the top of my head, 2017, it, is that was yeah, five years ago, five years yeah, ago. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's like, you know, so we were about two years in to TFB TV at the time. Alex had just left around then. And, uh, that that's when I was like, wow, like we're getting invited. There's some traction here. And I was happy because like, I've always been, a, since I was a little kid, I've always been into guns. So I was like, wow, I, I actually get to do this. Shit. And then I meet you guys and you're... Damn, and now we're acquaintances. <laughs> and today you mentioned that um, this is now your main thing, filming videos. I mean, That's an important part. I say 50-50. I say 50-50. So back in December 2020, I talked to my partners at the firm. So I'm a, a partner uh, with Mel Coyote Marks King, our law firm. Uh, where I followed those guys ever. We worked at a big firm called Cal Galloway Johnson. It was a, a larger firm like Florida to Texas and all the states in between and you know some in the Midwest. Um, and then my boss, a, a little over seven years ago, was like, hey, look, we're going to start our own firm. Would you like to come with us? I said, yeah, sure. So went over with them. The point I'm driving at is I've been working with the same people, even though two different firms, but the same people... Uh, for uh, 14 years now, since 2008. And at, in 2020, and we get a lot of firearms clients because people say, oh, it's James Reeves, you know, and I, I do the best I can because I know guns and I know the law and I enjoy representing those clients. Um, but in 2020, I said, look, uh, there's way too much going on with TFB TV. Like, let's kind of renegotiate. Like, I will take a, a substantial pay cut. How um, much was that in dollars? 50%. I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> uh, this guy always dollars, dollars. You know, <laughs> yeah, Salah, when he hears know, money, it's like... I know. Oh, my God. When somebody you know. says retrospect, I thought it's going to be respect. <laughs> yes, please continue. <laughs> no, that's it. So, I mean, I said I'd take a 50% pay cut. And, you know, that would reduce my billable hour requirement because they're, they're paying me half. So... I'm and you like, get your freedom. Yeah, yeah. And then I can I can do stuff like this. So, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm taking a couple weeks off from work. So, uh, is it fair to say that the last two years for you are like more awesome in a sense that you have much more time to commit to something you, you know, wanted to do or... You know, I, I love practicing law and I love doing this. It's just better because as we discussed, I enjoy, I enjoy both aspects. Practicing law, I enjoy YouTube. I don't like telling people no, you know, like I'm, I'm not going to do that. So uh, for me, it gives me more freedom where I say, look, if I want to go to Slovenia and I want to film a shitty podcast, yeah. <laughs> then I can tell my partners, I, I don't want them saying, oh, gosh, yeah, but, you know, we, <coughs> we're paying you like a regular employee and like you're dirt. I, I, I just, I like fairness. Yeah. Um, I try to make everyone happy all the time. And uh, I try to treat other people the way I want to be treated. So you know, I said, look, reduce my pay. Um, I'm going to be happy no matter what. I just want to make everybody else happy. Wow, that was a really, really convoluted, long answer. No, but yeah, the yeah. Answer, yeah. The no, answer I, is yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not guilty, Your Honor. Uh, no, uh, hearsay. Mm. Objection. <laughs> but I, I'm get, I get what you're saying because I remember when the first time you were in Slovenia, you, you know, you had to take some time off, you know, it was not so simple for you to just go somewhere. 
So I can imagine now it's much like just easier. Yeah, I know it is. But I mean, if YouTube magically vanished or the guns just <laughs> disappeared tomorrow, I would be just as happy working, practicing law. And if the practice of law, if I got disbarred, which I'm sure is going to happen at any time now, um, <laughs> if I got disbarred, then I would be completely happy doing 100% YouTube. But I just can't imagine like going to my partners and saying, I'm going to, I am quitting the practice of law. Goodbye. Thank you for 14 years and the friendship and the family. Goodbye. I'm doing this full time. Just like I can't imagine going to YouTube and the viewers on TFB TV and saying, Hey, thank you for everything you've done. You've been incredible. You got us here and I'm grateful, but fuck off because I'm going to be a lawyer full time now because they're going to pay me more money. So it's like, I, again, I, I try to live my life with some semblance of balance and Again, I want to be happy and I want the people I care about to be happy. So that's what I'm trying to do. That's good. <laughs> that's a good answer. Yeah, that's, that's a really, really good answer. And uh, I would say that, that that's even smart uh, from, from this kind of point of view. Even if something really happens, for example, you know, the YouTube ad apocalypse, mm -hmm. a lot of YouTube channels, not just like the gun stuff, even some others had to revert to like doing the normal job again, or I don't know, just closing the channel down. Mm -hmm. um, but if you have this kind of like two options, a safety net, that 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 is good. And of course, like you said, it, if you do it because of the people and um, because I don't know, like the, you are doing this with like people that you know, friends, um, it, it's, th it, it's a thing that you like. And the money is awesome, <clears throat> but you know, it's, okay. it's, 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 it's not, it's not about the money. It's about the relationships. And, uh, that, I don't mm -hmm. know, maybe it's mm -hmm. just the way, like I was raised. I, I just could not imagine walking into a room with, uh, you know, the partners, uh, uh, Jerry and Kevin and rich, you know, guys I've known for almost 15 years and being like, Hey, bye guys. Like I, it would break my heart. Like I, I, I can't imagine doing that. Just like I can't imagine going, "Hey, YouTube, goodbye forever." Yeah. Like I'm not going to do the same. Dude. I, it, it I would kill me. Like from now on, when somebody will ask you, ask me, Sama, why do you have two jobs?" I would say, "Go to the 22nd minute of this video and listen to James because that's the." Answer. I think he will steal your answer. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's all about the people, not about the money. <laughs> So let's 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 rewind a little bit. So let's talk about the money. <laughs> <laughs> How much? <laughs> no, I wanted. I, I don't know if this is gonna be like a question we're gonna ask. Uh, yeah. Garcon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, new beer, yes. Um, I don't know if this we're we're gonna probably ask everybody this, but uh, how did you get involved with firearms? You know. Well, from where does this passion come from? Yeah, I, and I've told this a, a few times on a couple of podcasts and on, on my own, so I'll try to keep it abbreviated, but if you want me to elaborate, oh, oh yeah, good <laughs> visor. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, do you mm. think we can swear? It's not good. It's, it's, well, just bleep it out. I mean, if you want to be a pussy. It, it doesn't matter. We yeah. have an editor. You will have a hard time. Oh, it must be that. nice. I edit all my own videos. We can do it in post production, CGI yeah, yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Our CGI. videos are quite nice. But can 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 you answer? Can I answer now? like a fucking question? So not, I, not really short, but like a medium I mean, long. We, we had always kind of the, yeah yeah dicked around with uh, like <laughs> shooting clays. My dad had a couple hundred acres in North Florida. I'm from Florida, Florida man, most powerful race on the face of the earth. I my dad had a few hundred acres in North Florida where you could go shoot skeet and like kind of dick around. But I, I remember the first time where I'm like, oh my god, guns are awesome. I was probably uh, ten, I would say nine or ten, and my dad uh, brought me to shoot a, a Chinese SKS that I, he probably paid fifty bucks for. And we he set up tab cans. You guys don't know what tab is because you guys don't have colas here. But he, uh, my dad set up these tap cans. It's like this drink that they don't even make anymore on the other side of the pond, which was, you know, about 50, 75 yards away. And as a little kid, to be able to take an SKS in 76239, like kind of feel the power, but it doesn't recoil that hard. And then watch like a tab can jump 20 feet in the air. I'm like, oh my God, it's like, is this what it feels like to be God? <laughs> you know, like to be able to, to do this and it, and it felt good and it was rewarding. I mean, I, it's like golf, you know, it's a similar 
it's very similar to golf shooting is. God, here I said I was going to just make an abbreviated answer. No, it's, it's really good. Da, 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 da. Don't so, worry. No, that, so no that's but, really good. But my dad was a Marine. Um, and he'll, if he sees this, he'll kill me. You know, it's like my dad is a Marine. He's fucking 84 years old, but he's oh, once a Marine, always a Marine. <laughs> um, so dad was a Marine and uh, taught me how to uh, shoot an SKS. And at that point, I started voraciously reading. And I think a lot of people who watch my channel maybe understand when they watch my videos that how this makes sense. I would go to Books a Million. Uh, you guys don't have books a million because <laughs> you don't no. have books. Yes, so yes. you could not have books a million. <laughs> but, you know, we had a, a, a store called Books a Million back so in the day. Why didn't you just say like a store? You, you, could, buy, you could buy Shotgun News and, you, and like you would smell it. And for some reason, it would smell like Hops Number 9, like Gun Oil. But you, you Shotgun News and Guns and Ammo. And, all, and I would buy those and put them in my Jansport. I went to a small private school with like 20-something kids in my eighth grade class. And somebody told on me, it's like, yeah, and he's got, oh, I, I was like, I'm going to build my dream AR-15. And I would cut it out with scissors out of the shotgun news. And I put it in a Ziploc bag, all the parts that I liked in a Ziploc bag. And I'm like, these are the parts that I want, like in my dream AR-15. And so, you know, you got this kid, by the way, I had a stupid haircut, like chin length, like a hair, and I would wear like, uh, you know, it was grunge, right? So like flannel, stupid flannel shirt. Um, like long, like Jinko, like kind of looked like a, well, I look like an asshole now, but I did then as well, just in a different way. And somebody said, yeah, the, the kid that looks like a school shooter is definitely a school shooter <laughs> because he's got gun magazines and like all this in his, in his bag. So the principal calls my mom. My mom comes in, talks to the principal. Principal's like, your son's going to be a school shooter. Even if I was going to be a school shooter, my mom loves me so much mom if you were watching this i love you with my whole heart uh she's been no oh, my mom was was fantastic she was like the best parent ever and you know she was like fuck you you know like my kid's the best he's gonna be totally fine um and then i she she loves it so much so when we hit a million subscribers she's like i told that bitch <laughs> you know i told that bitch like he wasn't gonna be a school shooter and he was gonna do something that's how I got into guns. Now there's there's that's, more. There's actually more to it, but I'll, I'm gonna stop. No, that, that's an actually very awesome story. And, and uh, just if you if you have this kind of like story to tell, don't worry about the length. It, it's interesting and it's very nice, even if you start to babble. We have editor. We yes. cut. We cut. CGI. No, no story. <laughs> I have a continuation question, uh, James. Mm. Um, so, I, I, okay. So you were involved in guns. You loved guns. Uh, did at any point in your life that become a profession in a sense that you started mo making money from guns? But I'm not I'm not talking about YouTube, but maybe before that. Yeah. Uh, so when I was 21, I got my FFL. In so my dad, uh, without getting into this, it, it made more financial sense for my dad to buy a condo and to basically charge me and my brother rent for it in florida so you know you get an apartment it's going to be really hard to get an ffl federal firearms license but if you own the place you can get an ffl my dad's got the same name that i do and so you know i applied for for the ffl and nobody really like uh, paid attention to the fact that james reeves was the owner of this condo there that never became an issue and i, I can't imagine it would be a problem because my dad wouldn't have cared anyways but um i i applied for an ffl they say, well, you're not going to sell guns out of here because this was uh, uh, Westwood Drive in Tallahassee, Florida. And we don't uh, know what that means. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's I went to Florida State. So I'm staying in my dad's condo. I get my FFL. I'm like the first set of guns I buy. Uh, Davidson's did buy five Smith & Wesson J-frames. You get the sixth for free. I'm like, sweet. I'm going to keep the 642 and I'm going to sell the other five at cost and like they'll be they'll be gone and then I just got myself a free 642 so that was the first set of transactions I had man like I, how am I going to sell them well I listed them on SIG forum or like block talk or something like that and I was like yeah 300 bucks you know get a and all these people are like right away they're like gone and I'm like, oh shit. And you know, I'm gonna send them to an FFL, right? And do the they do the transfer, but they were like, man, this guy, you know, his service was fast, his deals were good, you know, so I'm getting good feedback. And not me, I'm like, man, I was glad to do it. I got a free gun. You know, I've got a Smith Wesson 642. 
it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And I finally had to get uh, drapes from Walmart to divide my room in half because one side of the room was chest high with boxes of, of guns. And Bill Silver uh, was the sales, one of the sales guys at SIG. He was my guy that I dealt with all the time. He was like, dude, after about a year and a half, he's like, you're our second highest by volume SIG dealer in Florida. Behind this guy, like in, in South Beach, who did like all the gun shows. So I would go to gun shows and I would sell them. And you can still look it up Ordnance Outsellers, like O R D N A N C E, not I N A N C E. Um, Ordnance Outsellers is what I called it. If you look up Ordnance Outsellers, James, you'll find like posts like, almost 20 years old where we're like, oh yeah, service was good, you know, prices are good and everything. I had no overhead because I'm running it out of my college apartment, <laughs> you know? So I sold that that business. Why? Because I wanted to go to law school. Mm -hmm. So I took the LSAT. I got a full scholarship to Tulane Law School, which is where I wanted to go anyways, because I've always loved New Orleans. New Orleans is three hours from Pensacola, which is where I'm from and where all my family lives. So that was easy for me. You know, I, I was like, okay, I get to go here for free. It's a great law school. Uh, I went there. I started working for Interstate Arms as a distributor, a sales rep in New Orleans, like selling guns in between classes. Like I would call it dealers. I mean, you guys may or may not know how the whole thing works in America. I'll spare you the explanation, but I'm selling to dealers. I never touch the guns. They just get drop shipped. So, you know, I'm selling to dealers in between classes. Um, then I get my uh, instructor permit for a concealed handgun from the NRA. And I start teaching classes. And then shortly after that, the firearm blog hires me. And now here we are in Slovenia. Wow. <laughs> with Budweiser. <clears throat> Budweiser. Do you know that the original Budweiser is Budweiser? They just stole the name and everything. I've heard that. Yes, mm -hmm. you Steelers. Yeah, you would say that. <laughs> I think we started it first in America and you guys yes. stole it from us. In, in, okay, let's, in, let's do a couple of quick questions with quick answers. What's your favorite gun? You can only choose one. Glock 43X. Why are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> you, you are. <laughs> good one, good one. Um, so if tomorrow World War III starts and shit hits the fan, are you prepared? I'd say yes. Yes. In, I mean, in once I keep M MREs, water, um, I've got two sets of plates. I, I don't believe in like nods or, or even though I might get into thermal, I, I live in a city. So it's like, I, I think it's great for everybody who has them for reasons other than just a straight flex. Like if you have nods because like you live like out in the woods or whatever, that's great. But I, like I live in the city, what threat am I going to have where I've got a, you know, and my mind could be changed on that. But when you look at how expensive they are, it doesn't make sense. <clears throat> for the record. James said that he does not believe in nods. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you can continue. <laughs> no, what I mean is like, for me, they don't make sense. Like they're not practical for me because, you know, people are like, well, what if the power grid goes out and like you need them? It's like, yeah, like I understand that, but to get a set that I would actually want to use, which like I've used whatever, uh, B Myers or Elbit or, or whoever the F, like, you know, when I was at Thunder Ranch, you know, they're like, Carol, these are the best ones ever. And you can look up and see the satellites and shit like that. And they're, it's all white phosphor, whatever the, that, like, I don't know shit about them. I'm like, yeah, this is really cool, but am I going to have to spend $20,000 to have something where there's like a 0.000% and people can say the same things about guns, but it's like, well, I mean, I can buy a Glock 43X for 500 bucks. No, no, you saved so. yourself and us. Thank you. Uh, no, that, that's actually, if we are serious about it, that's a very good point. Um, people think that uh, having the best nods, having terminals, having, I don't know, like an $8,000 gun with like crazy accessories, that, that, that will do something for them. Like, that's, that is, you need a gun that works, pretty much. And, and it, it matters more that you have good skills, for, let's say for survival, and even if it's like shit hits the fan, um, prepper scenarios, it matters way more that you have some skills, that you know what, what to do, that you have a plan, and uh, that you are physically fit. That's uh, I like think that's very important. When you, when you look at the, the, <laughs> the American preppers, like they're prepping oh, for oh, everything, yeah. they have yeah, like yeah. a 
tons of food yeah, and they're prepping like, for the next buffet. They cannot <laughs> run 500 meters. Yeah. It's like, uh, you will die, you mm-hmm. know, because of like, I agree with thousand before. Percent. <laughs> Actually, very interesting. Like, uh, Brad, shout out to Brad at Blue Force Gear. I did like a trauma first aid thing with him, which is also very important. But he's showing it's like, hey, this is how much blood you can lose and not die if you're a fat piece of shit. This is how much blood you can lose and not die like if you have good cardio. He's like, that is, if you want to survive a gunshot, you know, everybody talks about this, 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 this. Like the best factor, good cardio buys you time. Mm -hmm. Buys you time. You can like lose more blood or, 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 you know, I thought that was, that was interesting. So in my mind, it's like, man, I, I, I hate cardio. I absolutely hate it, but I try to do it for, for that specific reason. I have a very good example of this. Um, it's just example of one, but uh, one of our friends, uh, he's a Brazilian cop. He got shot by his girlfriend six times, mm-hmm. close range, with a nine millimeter jacket hollow points plus P. And he survived. And he survived. Uh, he was shot in the lung. He was shot like somewhere in the torso, in the abdomen. Did he get rid his... of his Instagram after that? No, no. Okay, he's really good. big in Brazil still. No, I know. No, we, we're talking about the same guy. Like, because you turned me on to him. Yeah, cool dude. I don't want to mention it, but yeah, 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 yeah. What I want to say is that um, he, he was bleeding for 20 minutes before he was able to come down from the, like, the apartment and before like uh, the par- paramedics came. And they said that he survived like... Why he survived was one of the, the things that I listed, but he was so um, well physic in, in good physical right. condition. Like he was prepared, he, he did a lot of cardio, he had some a lot of yeah. muscle mass and everything. And they even said like uh, his recovery was way faster because he was physically fit. Give so, me a shit gun and good cardio, good physical fitness versus like being a, a monster fat ass and you know, like a really nice, like a knight's armament, you know, that's, that's what I would say. Yeah. Well, it, it has some, if we go like in real details, like, yeah, sure. You know, you have to have a reliable gun, a good gun, an oh, accurate sure. gun, whatever. But even if you look now in uh, what's happening in Ukraine, um, you can have the, the best nods, like the best stuff and it's just, just unlucky and step on a mine or just there's a UAV and they just drop a bomb on you and, and that doesn't bear anymore. Right, so, right, correct. right. N- not everything is equipment. So being prepared, have some skills. So. And now the next quick answer, because that wasn't quick. That wasn't quick. <laughs> but that was interesting, right? Yes. It was interesting. Okay. I thought it was. Um, what I also want to know is how did the short shorts start? start? Fuck, that's my question. No, no, I mean, that's that's the thing is like, if you came to where I'm from, it, I always tell people, like, I didn't know I was gay until I got on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> because where I'm from, shorts like that length are totally normal. Total, like, the, the southern region where it's hot and humid and we go to the beach, like, you know, I'll be wearing those shorts. I'll go into a bar. I'll go across the street, like, in the same pair of shorts, jump in the water. I'll get on the boat, you know, whatever. Uh, a very coastal, like, at Pensacola Beach, like, and I still go back and forth between New Orleans, Pensacola Beach, but even New Orleans, it's completely, totally normal. And then I was like surprised to find out that like everyone else was like, oh, oh my God, look at this guy. Uh, You know, people, especially, I I think it was hard starting out where people were like, look at this homo. (laughs) You know, like, what it, dude, what is your problem? But the way I see it, if you can see knees, you're wearing, oh no, I got it backwards. If you can't see these, you're wearing capris. That is the Budweiser. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, well, for us, because we're from Europe, that's normal. Uh, I would say for the last 10 years, if you're not showing your knees, it, you're strange. Mm. If like you're every, not showing your knees. Yes, yeah, it's like your basketball like, shorts. So yeah, yeah every, everybody's basically showing their knees. This is like 2011, 2012. I like a good kind of upper thigh. You know, and look, man, if you've got like kind of bony, bony, thighs or whatever then get a seven inch in seam that's fine but i mean like i think it's so funny everybody's looking at me like man what a jerk like with this guy with a five inch five and a half inch in seam shorts i'm like 
Yo, I'm looking at you. I'm like, dude, what a jackass. Like, wearing fucking basketball carpenter shorts. Three you know? quarters. Yeah. The got your fucking shorts. Yeah, I got your vape and your fucking slim jeans, like, in your carpenter pockets. Eat shit. Fucking you know? crocs yeah. and shit. Yeah. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> you, especially. No. My, my but fashion now, is awesome. Now it's like a meme, right? Or it's like your feature. Like, mm. people know. Well, his name on Instagram no, is the gun, gun shorts. shorts. Yeah, no, so. and, and, and truly, I wish it wasn't. But it's just something to like latch on to, and you just have to own it. Like at a yeah. certain point, like I, I, I hate defining who I am. You know, a man. My shorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, the man should be judged by the content of his character, not the length of his shorts. Well, just the, the way I. He, he said that probably like seventeen times. Already. No, no, that <laughs> literally, that literally is the first time. <laughs> literally, and I, literally, yes. No, no and, and I'm also thinking while I'm saying it, it's like, gosh, don't fuck this up, like you just did with the Capri's thing. So yeah. no, that's off, off the, off the top. I swear Whoa. to God. That's awesome. How, how, quick answer. How hard it is only to know one language? Go. It's easy. <laughs> I only know one language. It's not hard it's at like all. It's like going around live just like, yeah, I don't know. It's no, no, shit. it's actually, it's super easy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it's like, how hard is it owning one car? It's like, a, it's pretty easy because it's only one. <laughs> Uh, Good question, though. That's great. This is, yeah. I have, I have this is y'all's first podcast? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I, Beer I, alert. Oh, you don't say. Yeah, hit it. Now, he's, he, the American in you will say, no, you're doing a wonderful job. I'm having an awesome time. Thank you. Because, because you know, mm. the American way is insult people and then just like, yeah, but yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't know. No, no, no. I do that after the fact. I mean, my, my persona, right? You know, like you guys said, you talk about what a nice guy I am, which, which is true. And, <laughs> And, oh, and I do, but when the camera's rolling, yeah, you know, yeah. it's like I, I amp it up a little bit because yeah, the uh, gun shorts, yeah, 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 exactly. Good. Uh, next quick question. Uh, for if I can still know your uh, question, uh, the primary rifle you would choose and the secondary. Mm, secondary pistol, like a yeah, pistol yeah, yeah, or yeah, 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 mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, primary. It has to be the AR-15 in the United States. Like it just has to be. First of all, it's already a great platform. Am I saying it's the absolute best? Probably not. Like, I, I think that there are good short stroke next generation pistol or like piston operated designs that are better. Uh, the AR is absolutely better than the AK. Sorry, guys, but it's 100% fact. And I think you know it too. No. That, that the, yes, it's true. The, the <laughs> AR is better, but it's light, it's simple, it's easy to use. Somebody just take a shed upstairs? Is yep. That like... <laughs> let's uh, let's play. Welcome to Slovenia, <laughs> motherfuckers! Let's pause for comment. Uh, for, uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, <I'm> okay. <laughs> okay, we, um, if I can... He was flushing his AK. <laughs> yeah, probably. After he heard my answer. <laughs> but I mean, you have to think no. of parts commonality, ammo commonality. Like, exactly. I mean, you, you want to have the same ammo. I, if I lived here, maybe it would be the AK. No, you know, you definitely, if I'm choosing one, I will go probably with an AK. But now it's a bit harder because of the surplus and, you know, everybody, uh, like the army switched to the NATO, uh, the, you know, 506 yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. But 15 years ago, the AK is like automatic because there's so much... 7.62 rounds laying around here. Right. That it's just logical to choose that. Sure. But Giga is an expert. I'm just, you know, I'm thinking out loud. This, this is this is um, a tough one because I have a lot of stuff to, to tell about it. I have very strong opinions about this. But essentially, you're correct. A lot of people view us, at least me, like as the AK guy, right? I, I really love AKs and I know how they work and I know really how to shoot them really good. You do, yeah. Um, and they perform, and I'm always very impressed, by the way. They perform good and they have they, they have its limitations. But it's the same with the ARs. But if you if you stand them side by side. Um, the AR is better. I mean, it just is. It depends on what you look at. There are a lot of factors. Like, for example, like um, accuracy and, you know, ease of shooting, <laughs> manipulation. Yeah, if you look at like those, those minor factors. That's true. No, no, Sure, but if you could trade it for a goat in a third world country, AK, every time it wins. Okay, let's say... I'm sorry, I didn't No, 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 but you are very correct. Um, if, you, if you look at them side by side and you, you choose this kind of metrics, and these are very good metrics, so accuracy... Um, ease of use, um, let's say, let's say ergonomics. I, I would say that AK can really beat the AR in a lot of those. But for example, if you if you just take 
one like abstract one. For example, when uh, Grantham did the um, the freeze test. Who is Grantham? <clears throat> that's uh, some, uh, some. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm some kidding. hipster that's that does finger. YouTube YouTube okay. stuff. Yeah, on on, on YouTube okay. sometimes. <laughs> YouTube <laughs> from YouTube. Oh, what a surprise! Well, but if you take just one thing that can be very important, for example, for Russia for Russians, right? There it's minus ten, minus twenty. If your gun freezes, it's use, useless, mm -hmm. right? But for some American, someone, someone like just using the gun for competition, there's no real reason to choose an AK, except if you like it. Because you have now a culture of people that, that like AKs. I, I'm also like, mm -hmm. I, I really like AKs, how they shoot, the feeling of it, um, how you can operate it. I actually uh, prefer the, this, you know, how do I call it? The skills that you have to do with your hands to reload it. It's really hard to fast reload an AK. Very, it looks cool. Very easy with an AR. Yeah, yeah. Um, but if, if you go just down to the basics, like if you if you compare the stats, like accuracy, um, weight, weight of the oh, ammo, God, yeah, yeah. ergonomics, yeah, not even close. aiming. Yeah. Uh, for me, for example, like the AK sights. For people with really good vision, they're okay. For me, I have bad eyesight on, eyesight on the distance. I shoot really bad with the AKs. Yeah. Uh, with the AR diopter, it, it just it, it works like a scope for me. Sure. I can easily focus on the target. It's just better. Yeah. So a lot of people would would you know would try to answer this with their emotions. I try to answer it reasonably. Yeah. In in, in most cases, I would say that AR now can beat an AK. But I, it, it definitely can, but I mean, we're also talking about what the prevalent system is or platform, whatever your word is that you like to use in the region that you're in, because that's when I think of like, look, I would love to have like a laser space gun, but where am I going to get the ammo? Like, that's is right. there anybody else that can use it? Or am I going to be able to borrow magazines? So I'm thinking what's prevalent in the United States that's the AR-15. So like for me, it's the AR-15. And I think it's factually a better gun than the AK. But I also respect the AK and I love the AK. And I have probably 12, including, I always say, and this is me being a hypocrite. I always say like, I don't own guns. I don't shoot. Now, it's a, I have two Russian AKs that are brand new in the box. But I have an SGL-21 that I do shoot. I just have two backups yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I knew that they were going to be banned and everything. So in a way, I shoot those guns. There's no reason for me to shoot the same gun, you know, and like take it out of the box. So so it's a bit hypocritical in that respect. And I respect the shit out of the AK. And if I looked here, it would be the AK. Probably. All day. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's all about, at the end of the day, like in real estate, it's about location, location, location. Not just I that. It, it's... it's uh, at the least that's how I think and the, the, which factors are important for you. For example, if we if we just change the argument a bit, um, if we look at the same metrics, uh, then the FAL is better than the AR because it's more accurate, longer range. The FAL? Or, yeah. Are you drunk? Yeah. You think the FAL is more accurate than the AR? Yeah. Oh, it depends what kind of AR you have. Um, if AR. Wait, give, give, me, give me That's an MOA. Give me an MOA on a 21 inch standard. Uh, oh, fuck it. Give me a Belgian, like an FN original. What's the accuracy on a 308? Now the range is better, right? There's no question, but accuracy. I think it's 1.5 MOA. No way. There's no way. No. Well, that's a challenge. We're gonna do a video on that. Okay. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. Um, do you have shitty falls? Fa maybe, fails? but I mean, no, we did. That's actually how I got started in uh, battle rifles. And got, when I was in college, again, living at the apartment, um, I had uh, uh, Imbel, do you, are you familiar mm -hmm. with Imbel, you know, Brazilian? So like I had a kit gun that was matching gear logo, Imbel upper, lower with, I don't know, I think probably a 21 inch barrel at the time. And it was all like, could afford so yeah we, i had shitty ones but i also had stg 58 parts kits and it, like pristine you used to be able to get those in the united states um and i had an 18 inch that i loved to death but you know I, i'm look now that i'm thinking about it jiga i'm not saying that you're wrong i would just be very surprised if you were right i i we should, we should have, do have you tested we should, that yourself we should do the a video but the, I, would love I, I know i know that um 
like you have really high-end ARs. Mm -hmm. um, and that, that's one thing also if you are trying to compare guns. Like if you, if you just use something mil-spec and mil-spec and mil-spec, that should be the comparison. But if you, you know, if you compare, like I know that you have uh, this kind of like accurized FALs also, uh, but just like mil-spec AR, how much, what's the, how, um, I say anything, I say it's, anything better than two MOA yeah. is good. Like yeah, I, yeah. I think, yeah, I mean, I but use I, the, the, the Bushmaster Bravo Zulu. <laughs> uh, I just did a review on like a couple weeks back. It, that's like an off, the, it's a rack AR that'll cost like a thousand bucks. Um, I mean, fuck that one shot. I want to say like inch and a half. Um, BCM, like I'm a big BCM guy, I like them. I have nothing to do with them, no sponsorships, anything like that. But I, I own more BCMs than anything else. I want to say, and they're all like inch and a half guns. I've got a DSA heavy barrel that cost me the upper cost four hundred dollars. It'll shoot sub MOA all day. I've got a PRI right from the Mark Twelve. Like uh, I've got a Mark Twelve Mod Zero. I haven't shot it yet. But you know they guarantee like three quarter MOA or like sub MOA. So I mean, if we if you look at like a bunch of ARs and a bunch of FALs, I, I yeah I have to agree. I, 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 ARs will be like because you have so many options for the AR, so many good barrels. Yeah, you can you can get you have, you have shit moving like above the the FAL. Like there is shit moving yeah, where you don't have that with the AR. The that's AR, true. it's like, that's true. you know, so that that's going to impact your barrel harmonics, your barrel whip, like just to have anything, even if it's short stroke piston and not a long stroke. Like I, I did, did, I did a comparison at 100 meters with the FAL. I have the para version, mm -hmm. the Argentinian oh, beautiful, one. Oh, beautiful, Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you got I the recoil spring. this something. with a G3, and G3 has a free floated barrel, like no gas tube and whatever. Um, I, I got the same result. Mm -hmm. it, what I they they was, both did as well as the yeah, other. Yeah, ten shots. It was I think it was um, ten shots with the flyers was around just under two MOA. Mm -hmm. But you see, this this is very good idea. We should do a video. Uh, I, I would love that. Maybe maybe we could do a collaboration or something. I would love that. I would love. Can that. we also do a wager or something? A oh yes, sir. Oh yes. A Vager. No, no, no. A Vager. <laughs> Darth Vager. I am uh, uh, like, like Giga. If Giga loses, he does something with gun shorts and. Oh, he's got to wear silkies. I'll send him a Just pair of like silkies. Just like three inch yeah. short oh, wait, shorts. You, you will send me one. Yeah. Uh, like you, like you, like TFB TV sent me the Glock 44 that I won at Shot Show 2020. Did they? Oh. No, they did you not. live in Slovenia. Like, I, I mean, yes. I'm not <laughs> 60 kilometers from the Glock factory. I think right, guys, should, let's, I not think get, should... let's not get bogged down in details. Let's, 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 <laughs> let's move on to the next We should start the podcast with this interesting fact. So, we are at Shot Show 2020 Industry Day, and TFB TV has this kind of big. Not TFB TV, TFB. TFB, okay. They have this kind of competition. Something like different. Yeah. Glock 44, who shoots it the best on timer, wins it. And like we all try, and apparently I was the fastest one from the whole you day. You were, you were, and I true. won the Glock, and I never got it, dude. They're <sighs> thinking like all they're gonna have to do is ship it to like an American. Like why did it have to be a Slovenian? Do you want me to dig in? Because I will. Like I'll find out. I will follow up with Glock. God bless them. They sponsor the channel. Um, I'll follow up if I need to, but let's, you know, let, let's set aside, Shame. let's set aside these petty grievances. Speaking <laughs> of, you said the, the secondary Glock 19 all day, Glock 19. Um, I, I'm not as good a, a shooter as Giga is, but, um, with an optic, uh, did a perfect 10, 10, 10 for the first time with a Glock 19 and an SRO. So what optic are you choosing? Trigicon SRO, I wouldn't choose that, but it, it's like, I'm just, I'm still getting into red dot optics and the SRO is a great like training wheel. The ACSS is now like really, it's amazing. But, but the SRO, you know, because of the big window, like that was actually a really good way to break into learning a red dot. I think that's the RMR, it, it's built like a tank. It will work but it, it has a very small window, yeah. a lot of distortion, it's tinted. Mm -hmm. uh, the SRO, it, it's fucking amazing. It is. The only downside is the price. I don't know how much it costs in the States, 
Here it's a thousand dollars. That's crazy. Yeah, it's uh, seventy nine dollars in the United States, <laughs> <laughs> and you get a free T shirt. <laughs> no, how, how much is it? I don't know. Six hundred, seven hundred. What? You think I pay for this shit? No. <laughs> you think I pay for my guns? No, I do. I do. I, often I do. Sometimes. That's a, that, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. 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 Did you get a free Glock forty four? From no, B &B? no, no, no. Are you I, sure? Swear to God, I have never owned, and you guys know, I tell you the truth. No, I have, I have never owned, and I don't think I've ever gotten a free Glock. In fact, one time, uh, Glock called me to their headquarters in, in Smyrna, and they said, hey, look, come up, um, we'll pay you, or we'll pay for your flight, we'll pay for your hotel, we'll give you a tour of the factory and everything. And, you know, I'm, I'm only an hour flight away from Glock and Smyrna. So I fly out there, do a tour of the factory, do some video. Um, and then I'm like, yeah, it was like 700 bucks. And then I previously had asked for them to send me a Glock 29 SF and 10 millimeter with night sights. And then they're like, well, okay, well, here's your invoice for that Glock 29 SF with night sights. And it was like MSRP, it was like $700. So they're like, we'll call it even. <laughs> So yeah, no, I, I don't think I've ever actually gotten a free gun from Glock, which is fine. I mean, it, it, like I don't like people to think that I'm beholden to manufacturers or that like, oh, he only said that because he got the gun for free or he only said that because he got money. Uh, so thanks for you for, for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you like Glock so much? Um, to me, it's... It, Everybody has their own personal biases. Like, I, I gotta tell you, man, like I, I used Glock. I bought my first Glock, which it was actually a, a terrible choice, Glock 33, which is the subcompact 357 SIG. That was my first one when I was 21. And, oh, oh I'm sorry, Sam. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, no, it was a long is day. It, is this the point that now we're like, oh yeah. You're very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Please continue. <laughs> Fuck you, Sam. I'm going um, for another beer, mm. but please continue. So I bought that because of this perception that I had where everybody was like, yeah, these guns are the most reliable guns. And I am sitting here telling you, um, I swear to God, I have put, I don't know how many tens, possibly hundreds, I don't know. I don't know, of, of thousands of rounds through blocks. And I have never had a malfunction that was the gun's fault. I know a lot of people are gonna call bullshit, da, 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 but. But there are a lot of handguns that I like, uh, and there are a lot of guns I can say that about. And you know what? I would even say that it's possible that there are handguns that are more reliable than a gl it's possible. I think unlikely, but possible. Um, but my experience has led me to trust them. And then, you know, I've got the muscle memory and I've got like, I know what a Glock trigger feels like. I know where the reset's going to be. Like I know uh, everything about the the gun and the platform. And so for me, it's, it's Glock. And I'm, I'm not one of those people where I'm like, oh, well, if you like the M&P, you know, like what a dumbass. Those are fantastic firearms. Um, even Springfield XDs, like I'm, I'm not an XD guy, but you know, it's yeah. like, I'm not gonna be like, oh man, what an idiot. And that's, I think a problem that we have in the gun community is people are like, oh, if you don't like my gun, then go fuck yourself. Yeah. Like, it, it, which is just silly because we have, we're, we are in the golden age of concealed carry handguns, where we have manufacturer after manufacturer after manufacturer outdoing each other, turning out reliable, excellent handguns. But for me, it's, a, you know, I've got almost a 20 year history with Glock and, and it is what it is and I love them. And, uh, you know, I, I trust them and that's important. That, that's the thing, uh, what I hate um, about some people in the gun community, also here, it's just like, you know, you have a newbie, coming to the range, you know, doesn't own a gun, wants to own his first gun. And people ask, like he asks everybody like, what should I buy? And everybody has their own opinion. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's like more, like I always say, more like Harry Potter, where the wand chooses you, not you the wand. No, seriously, because for somebody, the Glock pistol, why are you smiling? The Glock pistol is the like the best thing ever in their hands, but for somebody it's shit, but not because of the gun, it's just because how it feels in his sure. hands and you know how you operate with it. Sure. I don't like the CZ 75 because I just don't. It doesn't feel good in my hand, but something else, like your penis, uh, <laughs> 
feels wonderful. Yeah, it does. <laughs> um, it does. But I mean, it's like we were talking about Bull Armory earlier. It's like I absolutely 100% factually shoot a Bull Armory SAS Ultralight 2011, about the same size as a Glock 19, better than my Glock 19. But I haven't had that gun for almost 20 years, right? So it's just, it, it would be hard for me. At this point, there, there's no replacement for all the time that I've spent. So essentially, you like Glocks. That's, yeah. yeah. I mean, and, I like six. I like HKs. I like uh, Steyr. You, I like, you like the Glocks the best. The, the thing is, that I, I shoot very good with a Glock. Um, Glocks have relatively big and thick um, um, grips. Yeah. For some people, they are too big. For me, it really works. Uh, the trigger, I know how it is. It's not that good of a trigger, but it's not terrible. Like you can you can get used to it, and if you yeah. dry fire a lot, if you use the gun a lot, it polishes itself. So you don't have to do anything to it. It just gets better. Um, what I also like with Glocks is Glocks are like McDonald's of guns. Uh, any model of Glock that you in any caliber that it's you get in your key. hands, it's the same. Same controls, same feeling. Okay, it's a short grip, it's a long grip. I, I know. It feels I know. the same. And they're, they're zeroed very similarly because like the first time I had a shot with a Glock 26, that's the very small one, we're shooting at gongs at 50 meters. And I had experience with the Glock 17 and 19 and 34. Those are all in 9 meters, yes. different lengths, but they were zeroed the same. Like, um, they're, I think they're zero to 25 or, or some kind of distance where if you go further at 50 meters, it actually, you know, like uh, the you sides are here. You have to come. But yeah, you're covering, you're covering the target. No, 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 no. Uh, the thing is that I think up to 100 meters, at 50 meters, you actually can aim directly at the target because um, it's still not uh, the, the apex of the curve. So, a, a, for example, SIG, I have the P226. It zeroed at 15 meters, and if you go further than 15 meters, that's, that's the apex. If you go further, you just go, it, the, the bullet just drops more and more and right. more. With a Glock, you can aim at 50 meters, you can aim directly at the popper, you will hit it. And, and even at like 100, um, you have to compensate a bit, but it's like... The <laughs> <laughs> no, it, 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 it's the same mindset, yeah. and it doesn't matter, that, that's what's so fucking great for me, because, you know, short barrel, long barrel, this caliber, the other caliber, it's a Glock, and if it's not changed, I know how it will shoot. Right. I just get a Glock. I and think it's great. It. And that's what we did at uh, Finnish Brutality. I borrowed the Glock, and I shot really, really good with it. And I don't shoot Glocks, like, often. I don't own a Glock. Why I don't own a Glock? Um, the, the simple reason, because I think that they're, like, everyone has the Glock. Uh, uh, it's, it's kind of, you know, like... Uh, because yeah, you want to be different, a special exactly. snowflake. Yeah, exactly. I want to be a special boy. I don't want to have the most reliable gun in the world. I want to be a special boy. Dude. And it's funny. That's the longest answer, I think, or the longest <laughs> statement you made this entire thing. And I'm sitting here like my, my kegel muscles are having a spasm. <laughs> I have to piss so bad. I haven't even opened up. Can we please take a piss break? Yeah. yeah I'll do that. I'll go up with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to get out of this chair. Why are you here? You are me. Okay, so you drank, uh, wait, I have to calibrate? You had one oh, small beer. No, no, I think I'm... Yeah. Okay, so you're aiming there in the safe direction. The safe direction. Yeah, the safe direction. Of Through the, the window. Of the preschool across the street. Okay, so look, how many beers did you drink? Um, this is either, is my third? Some fourth, beers. this is my fourth. Okay, so what we have here, we have the Mantis system uh -huh. that pretty much tracks your uh, trigger press. Mm -hmm. So it, um, it checks when you press the trigger, how much you move the gun. Mm -hmm. So the less you move the gun, the better. Mm -hmm. And that's it. You do 10 shots, aim, ten at, shots. 10 shots, aim at a spot there, mm -hmm. and you get like the result from like the average from 10 shots. This is going to take like five minutes. Doesn't matter. Okay. Take your time. We'll press more work and you can start. Take your time. Relax. That's good. That's 89 out of 100. I've never done this. Ooh. Not 
is good. 96, but it's it's really good. Um, I can tell you from my experience, uh, being a little bit tipsy, it helps. helps. What was that one? Uh, 93. <laughs> Breathe, relax, trigger press. 93 again, consistent. 95, you're doing. And your, your times between the shots are also very consistent. You're doing good. Look at this sharp focus. <laughs> it's the Budweiser. <laughs> the Budweiser. Did that one have, just fuck me up? No, no, you have two more shots. Breathe, relax. Don't rush it. You guys know how to rush everything. That was a bad one. That was tough. Yeah. It, it was. Good. Job. Nice. So your average score is 95.1. Um, it's okay. It's not bad. Like this is uh, better than a lot of people that, that do this. Um, what, what's the top score? A hundred? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if I sat here and just like, you know, if you I, took I my time and da 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 da. <laughs> but let me see. What are the, uh, so these are your scores. The first one was the best. Oh, the first one, yeah, and then see, yeah, then I got hasty, yeah. Well, well, you, that's okay. That's when you know the score, then you become cocky, you know. Mm -hmm. Now I have to do it. And then we continue with the podcast. Fuck, he's super boring. Fuck! He's super boring. Or did worse than Oh, that. no! Chicken man. You weren't drinking the boot visor. <laughs> Fuck, I'm doing see, really great see, terrible. No, 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 see, <laughs> this is pretty good. I mean, you know, you're better than most guys. <laughs> Not helping. Don't look at the scores, dumbass. What, me? No, him. Oh. If you look at the scores, then you fuck up. And see, I was talking the entire time. We should make Jigga talk. Jigga man. Jigga man. The motherfucking Jigga man. <laughs> <sighs> fuck! Pee pee. <laughs> this is the most boring podcast ever. I hope this all isn't going out of the podcast. This people would absolutely tune out. At this point. Don't fuck this one up, Jimmy. This is the last one. <laughs> okay, barely beat you. What was, <clears throat> what was I? What were you? Uh, you were 95.1, I did 95.8, but I had two really terrible oh, shots. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah this is, I, it, it's like a saying that I have, like, I never play pool against a guy who has a table in his house. I've never fucking used that thing. And, you know, I, I have a Delta in the house, but... Um, so I'm making excuses for myself. No, 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 but it, it's good. We're, we're doing this. Wait. Your score is good. It's, uh, uh, it's uh, there are most people better than most. Just my, my, I, I wanted to try. I, I, I'm too bad. That was person. fun. That was fun. I know you are. Okay, guys, uh, we are back uh, after a short break. Uh, we we forced James to do our uh, mantis uh, test with a handgun. So no training at all. You just do ten shots and get a score. And hopefully, idea our idea is to do a scoreboard. You know, like um, yes. Uh, oh, that's horse shit. Yeah, I was just <laughs> fucking around. I didn't know. That, no one said anything about a goddamn scoreboard before. <laughs> Dude, that would make you even more uh, nervous. So no, no, we no, helped no. you out. I will, no. no, you got me. Okay, all right, go ahead. Sorry, I didn't no, mean uh, to interrupt with this bullshit. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> But uh, by the way, we're not uh, spon like you always. I'm not sponsored this one. We're not sponsored by uh, Monday Six. 
we just kind of like the system and we sell it in our online shop. If you want to support Polenar Tactical, it's either clicking like, share and comment or buying in our shop. Thank or you very much. Uh, Mantis could, you know, sell, sell, uh, send us a couple of units for free or maybe like support the podcast with their sponsorship and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. And also Patreon. Patreon <laughs> is a wonderful <laughs> idea for you to do <clears throat> when it comes to Polenar Tactical. But, but let's go back to our guests. Please, James. Gyms. How much money do you give to our Patreon? <laughs> <laughs> I do. I am. I am. Oh, fuck. I think it's like a dollar, but I mean, but I do. It no, no, no. I have it out of my personal funds. So, like, uh, you guys. Uh, Are you sure? One hundred percent. And we do we you want have me to prove you? it? Yeah. <laughs> you have to chug a whole beer if I prove you wrong. No, no, no. It's okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> because are you in our Patreon group? Patreon group. Yeah. Oh, I would never do that. Why no, not? No, 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 because it's all lowbrow. You see, we're we're TFB TV. I mean, you guys are a bunch of slobs. <laughs> you know. I mean, no, no, I don't socialize with your type. <clears throat> but I do support you on Patreon. No, I'm not in your in your group, but I I do. I've always, I've supported you guys for years. Awesome. Out of my own pocket, not the TFB TV like James Reeves. For personally. years. Thank you very much, James. Thank you for the twenty-five dollars, James. <laughs> yeah, true. Okay, you all step down. I mean, twenty-five dollars here, you can buy a car for that. So exactly. I mean, we're in Slovenia. We can buy you a new yeah. if we would like to. <laughs> Shit, yeah. This it needs to be so we are both Giga. This is we are co-hosting. We are not. It's you're not the host, and I'm the jackass. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> that, that is kind of true. That it's is kind of yeah. <laughs> Anyways, next question, Zayn. Uh, let's go. Um, you have been correct me if I'm wrong in Slovenia three times. Two. Oh, okay. So you have, but you have seen quite a lot of our country, right? Because it's small. <laughs> Croatians always make fun of that. <laughs> Um, what's the like the best place uh, you have visited? Was the you know what did you like the most? Mm, I mean, it's tough because like recency, right? We went and visited Lake Bled, Lake Bled, 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 yeah, Bled, Perfect. yeah, yeah. Very visited. good Slovenian. Thank you. Yeah. Pukare mi broke. Thank you. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> so no, we. I mean, we visited that today, and that was. I, the country is beautiful. Like I, I call uh, Slovenia, and I don't mean this as an insult. Uh, I call it Samo's dick because it's small but well maintained. <laughs> Good job. No, no, no. But really, you, know, you truly have uh, one small of those. Small dick. <laughs> 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 no, 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 this is uh, 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 something, I, I swear to God, before you guys, I hardly even heard of this country, and the, the more I, <laughs> no, really, no, but it's like, but it's funny, because I met you guys, and then I get a Nat Geo Traveler, and Slovenia, like, Bled is on the cover, and they're like, oh, yeah, best country, like, 2017 winner of best country in the world, Slovenia, <laughs> and it, it, to me, I mean, it, what I like about it, it isn't like Rome, where you're like, oh, you know what was great? The Colosseum or the Forum or whatever. Everything is beautiful about this country. There isn't like, there's one thing, oh man, it was really cool. What's the uh, castle in Ljubljana? Ljubijubi, as I call it. <laughs> the Ljubijubi Ljubi castle. Way too many, yeah, there, there are way too many unnecessary J's. <laughs> in, in your so, I mean, wait, wait, like the castle, it's like, wow, that was amazing. But it's like the people, uh, the, uh, the environment, uh, the roads are actually really good. I know it sounds <laughs> weird, but, but you guys actually have really good roads. Um, I love everything. I can't pinpoint one specific thing where I'm like, oh, this is the, it, it's the times, I think. I think the times that we've spent yeah. together, like I associate... Uh, me and Jigga thrown up in that cabin in the mountains as like, I, I still, and now it's funny, man, yep. because we were talking about that a, a while back and I went and I looked through my phone and, you know, my, my phone with each new version, it uh, updates, like well, I still have all my old videos and stuff. And then I, there's uh, me like taking a video and I know I was bumped and it's just like a, a panoramic video and everybody's talking and like there's music playing and there's laughing. I mean, it, uh, it's, it's not Disneyland. 
you don't go to space, man. Like you guys have a beautiful country that I think everyone should be envious of. But now that I'm thinking about Piran. Yeah, that's just what I wanted to say because for a great time and a great location, you also need to have like great company, mm -hmm. great, of course, scenery and something great going on. And I think the Piran thing that we did had the combination of everything. It was everything. We it was had, like we had, yeah, we great had like weather. a private, you know, rooftop with a great view. We had good friends there. And, you know, the scenery was, was great and we had beer, so. Well, and then I ordered all the drinks and I said, oh, I used to be a bartender, I used to be a waiter, <laughs> and we had been drinking a little bit already. I said, oh, let me get the drinks. Like the bartender brings over the tray of drinks. I said, no, 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 bartender, I've got this. And then I go up to the elevator, <laughs> all of them, like, it was like six drinks, like busted all over the floor. You literally did four steps and then you threw everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Worst yeah. bar bartender ever. Uh, I know, it's but okay. that's that's a very good point, and and I can really relate to it because um, I kind of like Las Vegas, and not because of the casinos. I don't gamble. I, I don't care about that shit. But if you think about it, it's because of the people and the experience there. Because if, if, like if we wouldn't met you there and and some other guys and, and and do like fun stuff as drinking and talking and other fun stuff uh, like. Vegas would be really streepers. Really <laughs> Come on, you can say it. You, you guys drop the F bomb. You know, we got the guy upstairs taking a shit every fucking thirty minutes, and you guys can't say anything about strippers. Yeah, yeah we've been to strip clubs. Hell yeah. Yeah, yes, but yeah, you guys. Yeah, but like Las Vegas for me, it's nothing special. But it's well, in like. I know a lot of people are upset because they think, oh, Vegas, yeah, but you, you're in Vegas for three days and that's basically it. Like, it's like the fourth day is not going to be anything else. It's the same thing. But we go there for SHOT Show, right? So 80% of people we know in the industry is because of Vegas and SHOT Show. And mm -hmm. it's amazing mm -hmm. being there and, you know, where we need to drink secretly. Oh yeah. Um, let, let, let's move to a couple of more serious, or mm -hmm. at least for me, interesting topics. Oh, yeah. After um, 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 yeah, four. What, what's your so. vision for TFB TV? Is that like is that your baby now? Like if you if you go away from TFB TV, will it stop working or? There's Hop and some other people. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, Hop has, uh, I think Hop may have been the only guy that, that I personally have, have hired on. Uh, for TFB TV, the most important thing is honesty. You know, that is uh, above everything. We try to be as transparent as possible for our viewers because we want to be the uh, a source where you can say, hey, James said this about this gun, that about that gun, and you can believe it. And I understand and I even appreciate the skepticism when people are like, this guy's a Glock shill. It's like, yeah, interesting story, side note about that. I, of course, have been pushing Glock for like seven plus years now. But yeah, yeah, I mean, ever since back in the day. And then they finally sponsored, they asked if they could sponsor TFBT. Not that they needed to. They didn't need to. I would have said the same thing that, that I've always said about Glock. But they said, hey, look, you know, we appreciate what you're doing, we'll sponsor you. I said, okay, I'm okay with you. And that money doesn't go in my pocket. You know, again, I work for the firearms blog. This doesn't go into my pocket. So, you know, I said, that's, uh, that's fine. Whether or not, um, well, going back to hop, you know, we, we have a lot of hop fans out there because, which I like because he's actually. Hops, the one from Fast and Furious. Yeah, yes, some um, okay. That that one. Mm. So Hobbs younger, uh, he's. I met him. I'm like, I can trust this guy. Like he's. In fact, he's even. I, I worry because he's so much a skeptic that it's almost like the thing. You'll talk to me, and I'll be like the thumbs up guy. He'll be the thumbs down guy for some random hippie reason. But uh, ultimately, TFB TV or James Reeves, uh, whatever the case may be. I just want people to say like, hey, I can trust this guy. Like I can trust this guy. And that means more to me than anything. And that's why we don't push, uh, uh, I call it, you know, it's Raid Shadow Legends, yeah. which is just a free, but uh, yeah, it's like, I, I call it like a CBT torture dungeon. You know, I, I'm like, I don't push that. I don't push herbal erectile dysfunction remedies. I don't push uh, alarms. I don't push 
uh, um, hectare platinum or I, I like think, uh, I precious metals. I think you should metals. do uh, the auto blow commercial. Yeah. Yeah. I can cook you up. The what? Auto blow. What is that? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll cook you up. It doesn't, doesn't matter. Oh uh, yeah, Don't yeah. Worry. Yeah, we'll, we'll cook you up. No, it, it, it's, you a, get, it's a it's a very good suppressor cleaner. <laughs> it's like automatic. You just turn it on and cleans your suppressor and lubricates it. Also, and also the it's, barrel. Auto blow is just what I call Samo's mom. Am I allowed to say that? Am I allowed to say that? Was well, that you're allowed to say that on the podcast, <laughs> but we're gonna talk after the podcast. <laughs> So, no, but I mean, for me, it's uh, it's hard because there's so much money, especially like when you have over a million subscribers. Wait, you're getting paid? <laughs> no, no, we're no. doing this wrong. No, okay. no, 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 no. What I mean is there's so much money they put on the table. They're like, hey, look, we'll give you $4,000. Yeah, I won't yeah. name any names, but it's like the, the usual suspects are like, we will give you $4,000 for a 30 to 60 second plug. Here is a link to so and so. Here, other gun tubers. Here's a link to so and so. Here's a link. Almost every day. Yeah. And the, I get the hardest thing about it, if I say it from our perspective, is it, it could be so fucking easy. It's just 30 seconds. It's like, yeah, this is it the link. Be. I love that. Ugh. And then, you know, you get 3K, whatever. Yeah, I, but we, we, like with all of our hearts hated. I, I love that we have built things around our channel that can support the channel also, because we really, really, really don't want to do that. Well, I'm not saying that we will never do it mm -hmm. because you never know. And of course we like to push maybe some products that are relevant in the gun community, of course, because okay, but like, I mean, you also have to think about it this way. It's like, I, I appreciate the fact that, especially with YouTube and the great demonetization, where there are companies who are willing to spend money on gun tubers, like, who am I to be sanctimonious at the same time and say, I'm better than these guys because they plug these? I, I guess it's like, if that's the way you need to make money to make your content, then great. But... But, but, but at the same time, it seems like the guys that are doing that are the guys that already have enough. Like they're already, they've got millions of subscribers, Look, they've yeah. got sponsors. And then they're like, by the way, I'm going to have It's just revenue for yeah. them. For it's me, just look, additional look, revenue. I don't, I don't look at it like, oh yeah, they're doing like, I don't know, they're greedy, whatever. I don't care. Just like me personally. Thank you, Mansa. Another beer. Uh, for me personally, I don't. I really hate these commercials. When I want to watch a video and there's like Ray Channel Legends or some some Gold Acre or whatever, mm. like I hate that. And it's beneath me to put that in our videos. We're trying to make our videos as interesting as possible, you know, like uh, no bullshit, just content, content, content. And to put something like that in the video, it's, I, I can't, I can't. It, it, what, what we do, what, what I try to do is if we have a good idea. For example, like I have to mention this, Kamikoto, they make the knives. It's uh, Chinese, now we figured because I, I did the Google thingy. Um, <laughs> it's a Chinese company that's trying to push Chinese made knives, apparently no. made by Japanese steel, it, it doesn't matter. Um, and we accepted, um, like we, we said that we'll do the sponsorship because I had a really good idea of trying to shoot at the knives and splitting the bullet. And we did that. But after they saw the video of their knives, like they, they broke after, I don't know, five, six shots. It's perfectly normal because those knives are not indestructible. Any knife would broke. But what they said is like, oh yeah, we don't approve of this. We, we will not sponsor it. Uh, what you have to do is buy some other brand of knives, put that on video, break those and do not show ours breaking. And I was just like, wait a minute, fuck you. And we just posted the original video and I clearly stated under the, in the comments, like what they did. And, and I told everyone that it's a Chinese company. It's overpriced knives. They're okay. They're okay knives. And a lot of people really liked our video and, and they were actually surprised how good the knives did. Mm -hmm. And like a lot of people even in the comment, like this would be a perfect commercial for them because it's not intrusive. It shows the knives, you know, like chopping wood and we were throwing the knives and like really abusing them and they held up. But essentially, you know, they fucked themselves. 
just be, being that greedy and that kind of not thing. Greedy. Well, they, they, they were playing it safe and you know and this is not our company policy I would say that's the, what companies like to say right yeah. that's not our company policy but it's that fine that's a very shitty move but it, it, but it doesn't matter in a sense not, not, it doesn't that matter for us it, it doesn't matter for us because fine we will not we will not do stuff like that it, you know if a company understands us we always like even like Call of Duty reached out or something I don't know I don't remember I, I'm not gonna be specific because I forgot but <laughs> not really but I like <laughs> Call of Duty <laughs> Uh, I don't remember. So I'm not going to be specific. I'm not gonna... No, because I really don't know. Because there's a lot of these emails, okay? And I, we said like, okay, fine. We can maybe do do it. But let, we would like to do it our own way. So we would like to incorporate, like actually test something out. I forgot you had an idea again. And I write this email like, we're going to do this and this and this and this. It's going to be interesting. It's not going to be just like a 30 second commercial. It's going to be la 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 because we actually wanted to test something out and prove something, I, I, I forgot what, but it was then no response. You know, we want to be creative, but if you are not searching for that, then, you know, fuck you. Wait, here I have to do a shout, shout out to Schmeisser. And Autoblow. <laughs> Your mom? <laughs> uh, yes, yes. I gave a shout out to my mom earlier, so uh, I shout out to Autoblow. Schmeisser is a German company. And I think they're the only ones that are very okay with all of the jokes that we do. Uh, we did not like kind of a Nazi joke, but it was kind of, you know, like with Germans and marching and, and uh, the Erika playing in the background. And we were 99% that when we show the video, they will have problems with it. And they, they, they didn't. They just said like, oh yeah, it's funny. It this is fits. You. Do you? It, yeah, do it you. fits in the video. And, and you guys are Nazis, yeah. You, yeah. You, then, yeah, it, it fits with you guys. It fits with you guys. No, I get what you're saying. There, here's the thing. There's a lot of gray area because theoretically, if, if you want to be the purest YouTube channel ever, you you would take. I would not have a Glock sponsorship. I would not have a 511 sponsorship. I would. I would have no sponsorships. But I would also be practicing law most of the time. I I wouldn't. Uh, have the ability, I wouldn't be taking ammo from Ventura Munitions, practicing and trying to get better. Therefore, I would be less educated. Therefore, if I wanted to make YouTube videos in order to do that, I'd be sucking dick for turkey sandwiches behind the 7-Eleven. You know, it, it, so there's this gray area and you just have to figure out when you're looking at content creators, especially considering the fact that there is so much money out there that people just carpet bomb YouTubers with you have to, to look at who is doing what and who you can trust. And it's really, it, it, it's hard. So you ask like what my goal is for TFB TV. My goal for TFB TV is for um, us to, for me to be able to have a Glock sponsorship and for viewers to say, look, I know he's sponsored by Glock, but I also know he's a Glock core. And I still trust his opinion about a SIG or an HK or a CZ or whatever. That would be, that's my goal for TFB TV. For, for us, it, it, it's, it's interesting when you're explaining, like people think that you're shilling for Glock or whatever. Uh, for us, a lot of people thought that we were sponsored by Arex and we're never sponsored. We did a couple of videos for them as like commercials or like promotion videos that they also paid for it and they use it on trade shows and whatever. But like I shoot with an ARX because I really like it. It's a Slovenian company, the gun is really good and I bought a SIG P226. For a long time this was my favorite handgun. I still shoot it very, very well, but when I got the ARX, it, it was just better in all of the things. And that's why I use it and I, I, I really like this company. Again, because they're Slovenians, you know. They made like you look really good in the poster. I saw the poster. Oh, yeah. They oh, yeah. yeah, I, yeah was, no, I was very tan. Yeah, very tan. You were very tan. Um, very tan. But, but, you know, that's the thing. Like, I don't, you know, push them because, like, we get something back. It's like my honest opinion. I, you, were, you were shooting right now or trying the, the, the Mantis X with uh, the Delta Gen 2. I also love this gun. Like, I, I use it now for Ipsy competitions. I don't know, it just works for me. And, and I, I, I don't like push it like, oh yeah, you have to buy this. Uh, even with a zero one. Like when people ask me, a lot of people really um, appreciate our opinions. 
and they they um, ask us like which gun should I buy? I never say like oh this and this model mm -hmm. because I know for a fact uh, the the zero one has a very thick grip. For a lot of people, it's too thick, not comfortable. They cannot reach the, the magazine release. A lot of problems. So I never like recommend it immediately. Yeah, it's a great gun. It's very reliable. This and this and this, but it will probably not fit in your hand. So you know, it's the easiest, the, Potter, yes. the easiest part for me would be just like, oh yeah, uh, this company pays me money. I'll just recommend this, and that's it. But I, I don't work like that. Yeah, but then, and also it's not a good long-term plan in general, you know. But I don't look at it as long-term plan. I don't know. Maybe this is like my my core values or whatever. <laughs> right? We don't have those. No. <laughs> Samo doesn't. Samo doesn't. Yeah. That, no, his core values are money. That's that's the thing. So <laughs> talk to us about the auto blow. <laughs> <laughs> auto blow is a great machine for a blow job. Hmm. No, but that was funny. Man. No, I, I, I think that, um, and that's the reason why I follow you guys and I trust you guys. Um, it, it's, it's so hard this day and age, I think on YouTube, especially gun tube, especially again, people understand the power of the influencer, which to me is such a cringe term that they say, Hey, we're going to do this for you. We're going to uh, pay for this for you to say because it works it, it truly does you know i wish it did but it does like when they when manufacturers will throw money at these guys and you ten thousand dollars a video whatever the case may be to say where this is this money who who pays ten thousand dollars for a video because uh, oh that's a good money for us you know slovenians I maybe mean, what gun do you say we like talked about it earlier <laughs> but if we go like, dude if we go back like ten thousand dollars for like a ten minute review. That's like two or three filming days for us. And okay, yeah, and then fine, it's ten thousand dollars. But isn't it easier to just do a thirty second, you know, in front of the camera speaking about a game, and then it's like three three k like this? That's the problem. You know what I mean? <laughs> how much is your how much is your integrity worth? That's that. That's what it is, and, and, and that's a moving definition. Because again, for some people, they again they would say, because you've uh, you're, you've been sponsored by Five Eleven, you've been sponsored by Glock, you've been sponsored by Silencer Shop, um, you uh, you have sacrificed your integrity, and I respect that argument. But the best I can do is at least be transparent and say this company sponsored. And again, I don't even know how much it costs. I swear to God, strike me dead right now with the guy with the shitter from upstairs at birth. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and kills me. I, I, I have no clue how much it costs to sponsor like a TFB TV video. But that's or even like, better. I, no, it is, it is. Because it's like, the integrity is still there. And I get an email and they're like, hey man, um, like it's a video that I made three weeks ago. They're like, hey, by the way, this video you made, you need to run this bumper in front of, like this commercial in front of it. And it's like, okay. It, it, like uh, your Mother's Day, which is in four days, or uh, as Samuel calls it, auto blow day. That will be... <laughs> I should stop making auto blow jokes. It's inappropriate. I'm sorry, Simon. It's funny sorry, because he doesn't know how to get back home. <laughs> no oh, Uber and stuff here. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. no, no. Uber but, but but it's funny because it's like uh, it's my, funny because it's true. No, I mean my mother's. I'm sorry, Sam. I, I shouldn't keep making those jokes. And then I would say like, you're, yes, but your mother's a cunt. And he's I think that what? No, 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 no. And that, if you ever met Connie, you would apologize to her fucking face. Yeah, you know. Then you will. You will be. We talked about it earlier. You're gonna come to my house, and then Connie's gonna make lasagna for you. You're gonna love Connie. But and blowjob. Oh, and now this is oh, this was too much. I'm continuing. It wasn't. It wasn't. I'm continuing. Please there was continue. a pause. I'm sorry. It doesn't matter. It was yeah, a pause. Yeah. So. Our cameraman and editor will love this podcast. You have to <laughs> edit out so much. What were, we, I know. what were we talking about? God damn it's it. It's about integrity. No, no, I know that. Is I know the that, juice worth to squeeze? Um, um, no, where I was like, <laughs> oh, for, no, for Mother's Day, for Mother's Day. A banner or something. For Mother's Day, I got my mom a Smith & Wesson 380 Easy, M&P 380 Shield, M&P Shield 380 Easy. Got that for my mom for Mother's Day. That video is going to come out in like a little bit less than a week. 
And then I got an email from one of the editors. They're like, oh yeah, by the way, like our ad this month is Glock. So it's like, there's a, a Glock ad. That, but then I, I also feel like, you know, Smith & Wesson, Glock, uh, they all respect each other. And they, I feel like, I hope that they also respect my opinion and uh, and trust me to do the right thing and not be. You know. Well, so, what what you're talking about? Do you do you know who Linus is? Linus Tech Tips on on YouTube. He's the guy that does let computers. Let me, let, me so. piss, let me piss. Can I piss? Okay. Yes. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I'm, <laughs> I, I, like I, I broke the seal. Linus Tech Tips. Doesn't Big, matter. Big tips. Uh, we will continue filming. You need just one minute, so we are. Ready. Actually, I, actually, I can explain it. Yeah, I can explain it to to James there. <clears throat> so uh, Linus Tech, Tech Tips, uh, they do computer videos, and and they do the same thing. Like um, they're making a video about Intel proce processors and how you can I don't know like uh, overclock them, but the whole video is sponsored by just some random company that makes some other parts so they, they also have like at least two or three sponsorships per video that do not correlate to the actual um, theme of the video so the same thing here like smith and wetson and glock a like glock is a sponsor of the video but you're doing a video about like some buying a smith and wetson for <laughs> oh shit thanks for the explanation that was fucking amazing Oh, this was the position of your mother lately. <laughs> Don't talk about Connie like that. <laughs> Don't you dare talk about Connie like that. I need to pick you like now. Oh, mm. you do. I have a final question uh, for you, James. <laughs> Hypothetical. <laughs> Hypothetical. <laughs> um, what's the future for James Reeves? I hope nothing changes. That's a good answer. That's it. I hope nothing changes. Um, I hope another trip to Slovenia. Next summer, we're doing everything next summer. Um, no, I, truly, like I, I, I'm a creature of habit. I order the same thing every time I go to a restaurant. Um, I like having a routine. I hope everything's the same. That's what the future is. So that we meet once a year in the apartment or suite in. Las Vegas and once a year in Slovenia. Oh no, I, 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 would, I would say we need to, yeah, we need to visit you. Yeah. It's long overdue. We need to yeah. visit you. Mm, I'll um, freak you out. I will freak you boys out oh. in <laughs> New Orleans and in, in Florida. So, oh, you, oh. yeah, pick your poison boys. I would go for Florida just because of the famousness of the place. I want to be the Florida man, man for once. <laughs> Look, you might not be the Florida man, but you can experience the Florida <laughs> man. Exactly. But dude, we'll, we'll go out on my boat without any life jackets. My we'll, boat? Yeah. <laughs> With yeah, beers. Oh, country music, beers, short shorts. Oh, can you can you shoot guns from the boat? Uh, I think it's frowned upon. I mean, mostly... But it's illegal? I don't know. I, I don't know. See, I don't like putting... Uh, I, I respect the ocean. You know, a lot as a, I'm not sure I want to put a bunch of lead in there. If we have blanks, like I have no problem with, you know, peeling off a bunch, but you know, I don't want to. We were ask somebody, that. we will ask somebody that's really a lawyer. I don't, I don't throw <laughs> beer cans. I don't throw beer cans over the side of the whaler. I'm not shooting. I would never do guns. that, but I would shoot guns. In the sea. Well, like I told you today, we are from Slovenia. We clean after ourselves, but blanks is okay with me. <laughs> we love late nature. Uh, what's the outro for our podcasts? We need to think about something now. Maybe what you sh you guys should do, and you can take a second to think about it. It's like one word answers. Like here's our final three. Like it can only be one word, or, or uh, that's just off the top of my head. I'm drunk. That's a, no, no, that's a good idea. I had one question, and then you interrupted me, and now I don't have the question. It was probably boring. Or or like. Um, there's got to be something famous, like uh, like online. Like there's got to be. It's like um, Thomas's questions, you know, where or like a personality, some kind of personality test, where it's like yes or no, true or false. Um, I don't know. There's got to be an interesting way to wrap it up, where it's like it's a quick hit. Yeah. 
Am so, I wrong? Am I wrong? No, no, you can be, you can be. I'll just chug a beer. How about that? No, we'll just <laughs> I think, I think like the, the guest could make the outro. So it's like something about us and we cannot interrupt you. That would be good. I actually want, well, he's rambling the whole time. So yeah, yeah, I was. I, 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 I try, I'm trying to remember. Giga, you question. will remember when you were going to be home. Yeah, that's the problem. Well, um, that's awesome. Because <laughs> no more questions for James. Yeah. No, you're gonna cut this out, by the way. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Yeah, but uh, uh, a serious one. Um, how can we collaborate? TFB TV, Polar Tactical. I mean, the Atlantic Ocean is the only thing stopping it. I mean, what, what? But did you see some of? He doesn't watch us, watch our videos. Uh, did you see our collaboration with Nightfall Reviews, Henry? Oh yeah. No, no, no. I like Henry. I like I dude, I just DM'd him when I was in Brescia the other day. We were talking about So CEO could we do something for... like that? Maybe we can do an intro he for He doesn't know what we did. Yeah, he doesn't know. <laughs> dude. <laughs> he does James doesn't watch our videos. I do. I don't watch all of them. Christ. Uh, no 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 no. I, like we can collaborate. You tell me what you want to do and we'll collaborate. Perfect. Okay, we have this on camera. Um, and we already second thing, uh, I was thinking about this uh, for some time. I think we spoke about this on Shot Show, uh, about us potentially filming something for TFB TV. But if, if for example, we do a video that's like for your channel, mm -hmm. do you have any requirements, whatever, or we just send you a video, can you post this on TFB TV? Uh, I mean, I don't know. It's like if it's got Samo in it, like the answer is no. Yeah, but and uh, I also, why would we do that? You should. We do, I, I, I think we should. Because, I think you should. Because and I think maybe I'll do one for Polinar. You see, that would be that would be a really good collaboration. I I think um, I think it's shameful that we haven't collaborated more. I agree. I think it is. I agree. Yeah. Shut up, Samo. Well, oh, you know, as long as we get paid. And what, by that, th uh, thank you, James Reeves. Uh, for Is that the ending? Yes. <laughs> uh, no, really, thanks for being here. Thank you for visiting us. I know it wasn't just us, but it was awesome to have one full day with you. And then we saw, you know, some stuff together, went on a <laughs> What was funny about that? <laughs> we saw some stuff together. <laughs> well, should I explain what we saw together? <laughs> like he's fucking drunk, okay, for the whole day. Thank you, James. Oh, that's not true. That's <laughs> not true. Oh, man. oh my god, James. Oh my god, yes. Can, can you do the outro in ten words? Go <laughs> outro in ten words. Thank you for watching Polinar Tactical podcast. Very nice. <laughs> and that's a wrap. It was wonderful. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs>